Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing episode number 10 of the GTA 5 storyline. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut Don't up ask. before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, 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 Don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. No, no, you can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? All right, here Where we go. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year. But it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Yeah, I thought the weather changed awfully quick. Holy crap, I got a lot of guns now. Alright, I'm gonna pause it and see if I can change the uh, brightness because I know this is gonna be really dark for you guys. Alright, hopefully that looks a little better. I had it on the lowest brightness setting, now it's on the highest, so... Hopefully we can uh, sneak in here, plant these sticky bombs, and get on our way. I thought we were going after Michael, but I don't, I don't know what this little mission is. I gotta go in here. Sit on the back side. On top. Where am I planting this thing? Is 
on the front. I wasn't sure if he died or not. Where? It's got to be inside, right? Oh, okay. Just throw it on there. there you go. Ah, okay. I was thinking there's like a certain spot I got to throw it. Or plant it, really. Alright, so it looks like we got to throw one on here. I'll just keep going around the loop, I guess. Looks like we gotta hit this one up here. I might be able to just throw it and uh, get out of here. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can do it undetected. So, we're gonna go this way. Oh, there's a guy right there. Throw one on here. And we got one more to get. I think we got all the guys around here. Perfect. Trigger the sticky bombs. I think I'll wait till I'm back towards my car. Or truck. Shoot. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That was bad. Gotta love having a silencer. Definitely keeps things, things a little bit easier. They started shooting, but uh, I don't know if anyone was alerted or not. As I said last time, uh, let me get to my truck first. This time I took out the guy first. You finish your business, Trevor? Oh. There we go. I sure did finish my business. Who's this? 
Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? A house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, Pete. Trevor, lube up your eye hole. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Ah, please! Don't turn me into anything! Gee! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be waste! Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade! Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't, oh, oh. I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. I think we skipped a little bit of the dialogue because we got here, but I guess that's fine. friend well guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep you fuck Los Santos the city of shitheads where else would he be Floyd over in Vespucci Beach will you tell me the story about that boy Trisha ah yeah yeah where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt. Despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes... He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. 
And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Oh God, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cap. I seen it on the iPhone map. I'll give you directions. Oh man. I don't know if that's where the story ends or if you drive slow enough if it keeps going, I don't know. You don't turn here. Now keep going. So now here's like a right. It's straight here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neville and Finn. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if you don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. Cool, I don't remember this at all. So now this is a safe house. Got everything except for unmarked. I think that's because I learned that a guard one time. Alright, so I can now switch between all three characters, so... Shit. Are you looking for this? No. Ah, 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 ah. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own death to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. 
What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ. She's a horrible dancer. Michael. Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ. What? Now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go. We go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you going to stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go. Come on. You know, I could probably this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. So where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped-up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Are you driving through the stadium? Okay. Yeah, I switched the brightness back. You guys probably noticed that. And uh, I was trying to drive a little slower just to get through all the dialogue again, but looks like I drove a little too slow. Uh, you just hit him. Yep, dead now. Just trying not to. Let's go in. All right. Here we go. Come on. These faces are reserved oh. for production vehicles. I see they got the uh, Famer Shame semi trailer over there. Come on, you dipshit. Host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter, bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. All right. Yeah. That was really... All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a window. Oh, jeez. Oh, all right. Well. So it said we could detach the trailer, but I think we'll just leave it on for for a while. I don't know, maybe if we can't catch him we'll switch, but... Alright, yeah, we'll detach. Oh! Jesus. Oh, he's about to lose us. We gotta, we gotta hurry we up here. This thing's not the fastest vehicle, it's uh, kind of tough. Hey, I'm trying to just hit him, but I can't even catch up to him. trying I'm you turn hard like hard left hard right and it takes like a whole uh, uh, intersection to turn That's tiny. Did he get out of his car? The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 you guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Yeah. You proved your point. Yeah. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head! And you! Huh? Your pants off. Uh, uh, hey. There you go. Uh, uh, Alright. What are you doing now? Go 
want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... You trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. Please, come on, no, get no. off. Take off. Go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. <laughs> the world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Fastest speed, 98%. Bearing down, no I can't park here, and all hooked up. Missed everything. Alright, that's where we're going to end this one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.